Hello everyone, Sheriff here. So I recently released uh, Quest Manager version 0.8 and I want to make a quick tutorial on the overview and interface. So the, this is going to be a part one of two. I'm going to show you guys how to do the setup and a basic overview of the interface. And then the next video we're going to implement it in this game that I have here. So first let's go to the github repo the link will be in the description and then we could go over to the releases and then get that alpha 0.8 you could download either the zip or the tarzi file i'll get the zip the tarzi i mean let's just download it here and let's jump to it when i extract it files then now we need to grab this add-ons folder and drop it in your project and if you have done add-ons already you could go inside it and grab the quest manager so let's just grab the whole add-on now copy that and let's go to our project here paste it in here now you get some errors this is because it's not enabled yet so let's delete those yep go into project project settings and then enable plugin once you have quest manager enabled you'll now have this new quest manager tab click in and let's go over the interface so first you have the create new button you have an open button open a quest file and then you have the save it's either save the quest file or make a new copy after a save and then you have the drop down of all the different nodes that you could add to the scene to the editor or you could right click and select them from here plus you have a test scene to test whatever quest you make and then you could check for updates here the update check and that's usually green when you says it when there's an update being bright green so i'm not on the latest version and then could you show IDs? This shows the IDs of each node. So let's go over each node. So first, the main and most important node is the quest node. This is the main node for each quest. Now you would give your quest a name. Just call it test quest for now. Test quest. And some details. This is a test description. Say that. All right, and then the most basic uh, quest step is just an action step. This is just to do something and then you'll just update. So do thing, for example, like jump or go to a location. And you need to connect them using these little pins. Pull out and to pull into this one. And then this quest now has this one step. And then you need to add a end node. So let's go to end node. Put it here. Stick it on the end there. So action step and end node. So this is one of the most basic setups you could do for a quest. And you need to add maybe some rewards if you want. So you could add a rewards node. Put it in here. And say we need some ints of the coins. And then let's go over some other ones. So let's pull this up here. Now you have a incremental step. Drag that over. So this step requires a certain amount of an item before it increments or goes to another step. So hook this in here. Let's first test this out. So let's delete this. Let's delete. Let's just test this action step using the test scene. Go so test scene. Need to save first. Save. Just call it test quest. The quest file. Okay, so let's test this quest. First, you hit the test quest file. And here you'll see the list of all the quests will be on this right left panel. And this is the only quest you have. This is our test description and 
do thing and complete. So complete would be the end. And then I could just accept this quest. And then over in the player quest tab, this is where you're this is where you're seeing the player's actual quest that he has. And there you go. This is a description and then do thing. And then we're completing this step by saying you did the thing. So complete step and then quest get complete. And here I have just a printout of the rewards. They could do whatever you want to do with that. Could delete this quest from the player quest. Still available here as a source. So let's go over to an incremental step. First, let's add it in. And we could stick this guy here. Go here. Oops. See for incremental step. Let's see. Collect ten coins. 10 coins and then you could pass in the amount or the name coins and save that and we could test this again here you see collecting coins could accept the quest now in the quest you could see what we are doing here so add three so we have three of ten so far 7 of 10, out of 3, there you go, step complete. Alright, next you have an item step. Let's grab that one, item step. Look it up for now. Here you have to do like multiple things. So for example, let's say collect these items. So we could give it an item name, let's say a car. Add. Let's add a. Let's just use vehicles. Why not? Truck. Then van. Now let's save. Whenever you hit this run here, it should save. There you go. Oop, no, it didn't. One second. Oh, that's a bug. So, run the scene. Let's now test this out. <clears throat> so, let's collect these items. We don't know what the items are yet. So, we have to actually accept the quest. I should probably add a list of the items here. So let's accept that quest. Now we could go to the quest. Then you could see car truck van. So you can basically call it them in the order. Ew, quest complete. Now you have a timer step as well. So this can be both a timer or a stopwatch. And let's give it uh, five seconds. This side is the minutes and this side is the seconds. Let's say five seconds. Let's just say wait. So whatever we whenever this timer runs out, you want it to complete and time out. So you could change this at any time. So let's save that. And then run. Here it says wait and then complete. So let's accept it and test this quest out. Go. Completes. And that's a completed quest. Right, let's delete it. And then Next one I have is a branch step. So this step is similar to a action step, the first one I showed you guys. And you could do tell it to branch for example. So let's go to let's see let's say do thing or fail. Do thing or fail. And stick that in here. That in complete. So this is the regular um next step, and then this would be the branch. And you could drag out and selected it so let's go to step the on regular action step then you could hook this one back into the end node and then say uh do thing again just keeping it simple save and run all right so do thing or fail so right now i'm not showing the branch step so that would be like a pop-up to the player whenever he's doing the quest. So let's accept that. And then here it is. So I could complete the step or I could do the branch. So let's branch. So now it's just saying do thing, could complete. Your quest will be complete in that case. So let's delete that and run it again. Accept quest. And then I could just complete instead. It just goes straight to the end. 
All right, so one last one will be a function call step. Drag it out and drag it up. Select the callable step. But its actual name is a function call. So, for example, if I have a test function in my um, in the quest manager file, I could just use it. For example, quest manager that test func. So if you have any um, any auto loaded scripts, you could set its name and then its function. And I need to look at quest manager find test oops test yep there you go and i should print out hello quest manager and whatever whatever hours you pass to it go back here but i'm not passing anything so let's complete it so basically as soon as i start this it should just complete and then print out whatever it's supposed to print accept it so here go step complete okay so let's let's put a action step before that because i found a bug here this can't be the first thing that gets called so let's go to drag an action step out they do thing and then hook this guy up here hook here this guy up here save <clears throat> All right, now let's run this. Accept this quest, and you could check over here. So when I complete this step, it should print out hello Godot, hello quest manager, sorry, and then the steps gets complete. All right, that should be most of it. So let's go over one other thing. So with the groups, you have a group node. Add a group tag. A group tag is a way to like filter like quests. You could have multiple quests in the same file. So this calls group. Why not? Or this quest group. Then we have a metadata node. Or, and a metadata node can go on any quest or any step. And this just gives you some flexibility. You could, if you want to do something with the metadata, for example, maybe for an action step, you want to tell it to go to a specific location. Could use the metadata for that. Let's add a maybe a string. Could pass an ID to it, and then you could use that step for uh, your own code, like to retrieve it and say, "Okay, let's, it's that ID." Blah blah blah. You know what I'm trying to say? Be a uh, location ID, probably. Forest. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making an example. Area zero one something. Save. Let's not use that metadata there. You could also see the metadata back. So it shows the group as well. Test group. Alright, that should be it. So accept quest. I'm gonna add a feature here where you could see the step metadata for each step. That's something to plan in the future. Uh, step, uh, All right, guys, so that should be it. So in part two, we're gonna implement using it in this scene. Hold up. I save here. And I have this character here, I could walk around and collect these guys here. We're gonna have like some simple quests to collect uh, 10 collect 10 of them and then another quest to collect one that's hidden back there and let's see the shadow of it yep all right so thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe see you in the next video